Those of you who have followed me over the years probably know that I haven't always been all that accepting of solar power as an alternative energy source. And it's mainly because when you look at industrial solar power, when you look at these big solar power farms, they're not necessarily all that great for the environment. They create uh, basically heat islands and they heat up the soil and, and, and pretty much add to our desertification of land uh, by putting these things out there. They also interrupt migratory birds. They're known for killing tens of thousands of birds every year. And I've actually heard some estimates up into the hundred thousands of birds. So um, solar energy has its own environmental impact. And then on top of that, we're building it out of uh, resources that come from outside our country. Um, and we're giving more of our power um, pow the power of power to another country. And we're also using uh, rare earth metals, which are highly toxic when we, when we mine them. And um, they're also, they're rare, which means that we don't have an unlimited supply of them. And there's really no way of recycling a lot of these things made out of rare earth metals yet. So we're kind of using up all our rare earth metals ahead of time before we actually have a way of putting them into reproduction. So um, on an industrial scale of solar power, thinking that it is some sort of great, re you know, renewable energy resource, I disagree with it. But when it comes to solar energy and using it uh, on a, an individual standpoint to become more self-sustainable. I actually think that there's a lot of promise to solar energy if you put it on the roof of your home. But again, I don't think that, you know, we're necessarily helping the environment by continuing to pull these rare earth metals and make these panels. And, and like I said, we're, we're putting a lot of support on an outside party, which is something that we've been trying to get away from in our energy independence. Now, I do know that uh, the, the president recently signed an executive order um, to increase mining of, and, and discovery of rare earth metals for America. But um, like I said, there's only so much you can do with materials that are rare, that, 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 are, that are not being replenished on a regular basis. Um, I have been looking into some energy alternatives just for myself, ways that I can um, continue to have power in the event of power outages. We just had Zeta come through here, and man, that storm whipped up more wind, I think, than Isaias in our area. It was less of a direct hit, but we were on the east side of that storm where a lot of the wind is, and it pulverized some of my favorite trees. I was a little um, upset about that. Our well house was barely saved in that one. The point is, is we have a lot of <laughs> big storms every year. And then on top of that, Shauna and I have been trying to grow our new nonprofit, Meet My Neighbor Productions, where we go out and film other farms and, and help get them exposure and things like that. And so we're spending more and more time out in the field filming. And then we have to bring all of our equipment with us. We have to have ways of transferring data in the middle of filming. And it, it gets to be a pretty extensive process. So uh, we, we need to have power that we can take with us to different places. And I did some research because we recently, and actually what you're seeing here, the power of our workshop right now, temporarily I've been powering us. Um, I have an extension cord coming out to the shop, but I've also been powering off of the Sun Life power inverter. And we recently did, I did a talk on the right to farm at uh, the 2020 Prepper Camp. And uh, we powered our trade show booth off of this Sun Life power inverter. This is about a 500 watt power inverter. I did a video just kind of showing what this thing can power up. It doesn't work on power tools, but it works on a lot of things, including computers and lights. And um, these cords that are hanging down here are actually some uh, lights that are being powered off of that. So there's a, a great benefit in my mind to these small power inverters. I, I had a love-hate relationship with it at first because it didn't do anything my generator could do, but then I've learned that it can do a lot of things. When the power goes out in a storm, we still have internet, we still have TV, we still have um, a lot of different things, and you could even probably run 
a um, refrigerator off of it, although maybe not that one, possibly this one. So this one is kind of an upgrade to that one. It's got the sine wave technology, which allows you to kind of have that constant flow of energy moving in and out, where this one will kind of cut on and cut off. It has a sharp uh, decline. It, it doesn't have a perfect sine wave. Uh, this one has a sine wave. Sine wave is similar to what is already in your AC outlets in your house. So there's a greater protection to things like computers and sensitive electronics using something like this. This is a 520 watt. So it's got a little more power than my Sun Life one. It's made by Rock Pals. And I like this because it's got a little um, plug on the front. I have a, an inverter that I use sometimes in the car that I can actually plug on the front of this and then add additional plugs. <laughs> so I, I really like this little machine here. Now it does not come with the emergency light that comes in the Sun Life one. Now, that's a great little one too for its own use. This one I think is better for electronics and, um, and doing work off of it. Just has a little bit more power. And like I said, it's got the sine wave technology, which um, is a, a big plus to me. Now, the other reason why I got this uh, particular inverter, I was looking at, for this Sun Life one, I was looking at solar panels that I could, I was looking at solar panels that I could plug in to um, the Sun Life power inverter to be able to allow us to operate for longer periods of time and keep it charged. I ended up finding this. It's a Rock Pal solar panel. This is a 100 watt. It just opens up like this, very easy to use. And uh, once it's open, it immediately starts charging, which is pretty cool. On the back side of this solar panel, you've got a zipper pocket. When you open that up, you've got a lot of different cords in here. Now, the, the most important cord, this is just a plug for my inverter, but you've got, number one, you know, a set of nice USB cords here so you could just easily plug your phone right into it and take this, you can carry this out, plug your phone into it and it's charging. But it also has a DC cord that comes out and plugs directly into the inverter, which says input. And now when I open this up, it's automatically, and it's in the sun, it's automatically gonna start adding a charge to my power inverter. Now I haven't found a whole lot of use for these in, as far as operating power tools, because the power tools do um, take a lot of energy and they, they put a lot of pressure on the equipment. I actually have not tried this one with a power tool yet. So let's just see if I take a saw and it's not fully charged right now. I've got maybe a little over half battery, but if I took a saw and plugged it in here, let's see what would happen. So I put it on AC. And there you go, it's probably, it's not enough to give it um, to, to power a saw or something like that. And, and neither was that one. That one actually had a little bit more of a powerful kick off the get-go. Let's see what happens when I plug this one in here. There you go, the, the Sun Life one over here actually had a little bit more of a power kick. Of course, this one's not fully charged than the Rock Pals, but when you're using it on things that you're supposed to use it on, like, I don't know, a computer or something like that, I actually, I like the sine wave technology that's in the Rock Pals because it's gonna protect your computer equipment a little better. I, I still really enjoy having the Sun Life one. And as you can see, I'm actually using the Sun Life out in our shop on a regular basis. I usually only use 
the Rock Pals one for our filming business. I try and keep things separated so that I'm not, you know, damaging the stuff that we need for work. So this setup actually was provided to me by Rock Pals. I sought them out and said, hey, look, I really kind of like the setup that you guys have. Could you send me something to try? And so they sent me the, uh, the solar panel and the inverter. Originally, I was just looking at the solar panel, but then after talking to them and, and learning a little bit more about how sine waves work, I decided that I wanted to ask for the inverter as well, and they, they were kind enough to send both of them to me. Um, as a YouTuber, when we're looking for products and things, there's nothing wrong with offering to you know check something out and, and see if it see if it works in exchange for the product. The thing that I do that's a little different than some other people is if I don't like the product, I generally don't share it with you guys. Um, and that's if I don't like the company, I don't like the product. I think that Rock Pals is a great little company. Um, they are again made in China, but everything when it comes to solar energy is made in China. I had been uh, pretty enthusiastic about learning a little more about DC power when it comes to things like lights. From a, a, a standpoint of being prepared, I think it's a good time to learn more about some of these alternative power sources, DC powered things and, and what inverters can do for you because you'd be surprised what you can actually end up powering off of this stuff. Uh, you might be you not be able to power power tools, but you can do a lot of things. You can charge your power tools on them. The more we go into, you know, times of uncertainty, it's good to be able to have some power sources at your fingertips that you can pull out and, and get back into business. If I wanted to, I could take one of my lithium powered saws, plug it in, charge it off of one of these, and I'd be good to go. I, I don't have to have an AC plug-in high powered saw to do a lot of work. I can work with the battery powered stuff. So, so it's very fascinating to me, you know, when, when we come up with these personal power generating abilities and uh, you know, how it could save you in a hurricane, what it can do for you in tight situations, or even now when a lot of us are having to work remotely or take our work on the road to more remote locations, the productivity that I can have by having my own power source wherever I go is phenomenal and like i said these even powered up our trade show booth with lights and tvs and all that stuff it's definitely changed my perspective a little bit on solar power uh, just from the standpoint of being self-sufficient having the ability to generate power wherever i am and increase my workflow wherever i am <laughs>